This month, there are many issues I'd like to cover, such as the high rate of eczema might be because of car exhaust and how the ravines in California are beginning to fill up once more. Dermatitis, more commonly known as eczema, is when your skin is very dry, causing it to be extremely itchy. Rates of this condition have been skyrocketing since 1950, and scientists might have found the reason why. The reason for eczema has always been a mystery, but after some research about the chemicals that are emitted due to the car exhaust, we might have found the reason why. Diisocyanates and isocyanates are the chemicals to blame. Isocyanates are used in the manufacturing processes in different items. However, it does not affect health if purified and used correctly. On the other hand, when it's produced from car exhaust, the chemical might cause skin irritation because of the byproduct that is created. Of course, this is out of our control as we cannot stop everyone from driving on highways. However, if you do know that you're prone to eczema, you should try not to end up behind cars. Further research is required to see if we can do anything to help reduce the high rates of eczema we have today. To end on a positive note, the drought that we have had in California for the past three years is currently going in the right direction. After weeks of rain and even snow in some areas, the ravines and lakes across the state have been increasing. However, groundwater has still stayed at the all-time low as it takes longer to bounce back after a drought. Fortunately, with a little luck, even Lake Powell can increase up to 45 feet. Of course, this is a rough estimate as it can depend on the evaporation lakes and future precipitation. We still have a long way to go to get out of this three-year drought, but things are definitely improving. The Great Basin have also shown remarkable amounts of snow. In fact, the accumulation of snow this season was more than the past two years combined. But we should still keep our hopes up and keep conserving water. Some examples of this include popular ways, like when you brush your teeth, try to conserve as much water as possible and take shorter showers. Some additional ideas of saving water, like watering your plants at night so it'll evaporate slower. And if you do laundry, then only wash when your washer is completely full. This also shortens the amount of work you have to do every week. This has been an Audrey for Care environmental news report. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing month. See you in April. <laughs> <laughs>